How do you appoint and distinguish between elders and deacons? Now, in the Acts of the Apostles, we never see deacons being set apart, called deacons. We read of, uh, some people say, the seven men set apart to look after the feeding of the widows in Acts 6 were deacons. I don't know. It doesn't, the word deacons is not used there, so I, I want to be very exact in Scripture. They were called to do a certain service. But the word deacon, it's, you see, it's one of these unfortunate words. Unfortunate, I mean words that were unfortunately not translated. Like I spoke about baptism. I really wish the Greek word baptizo were translated immersion everywhere. We'd never have had child baptism then. Many problems would have been solved if those translators had just translated the word instead of transliterating the word, which means importing that word into the English language, which nobody knew its meaning. Now, deacons, that's not an English word. It's a Greek word, means diakonos. And it's a simple Greek word, means it's a servant. Why didn't they translate it as servant? Oh, that's not so dignified. Supposing somebody said, I'm a servant in a church. You wouldn't respect him as much as he said, I'm a deacon in a church. That's the thing. So, it's a word which means a servant. So, I personally, in our churches, I've understood the deacons mentioned in 1 Timothy 3 are those who take responsibility for the practical aspects of a church, you know, like finances, treasurer, and a lot of practical aspects if you have a building, maintenance and things like that. Or we have brothers who, when we have conferences, we have a number of conferences and meetings who take charge of the cooking and various aspects like that. The practical aspects of the ministry, whereas the elders are the ones who are responsible for the spiritual aspects of the ministry. And the elders, it's very curious, clearly spoken, set apart elders. You read in Acts 14, the apostles prayed and fasted, set apart elders. You read Paul writing to Titus, set apart elders in Crete, where I left you for that purpose. But I never see the word deacons being used as being set apart, but they were appointed. So, that, that's how we um, appoint servants. You know, we call them treasurer or secretary or something. We have different names. But they are servants in the church who look after the practical aspect of the church.